Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is continue to take a look at creating parts using 1CNC geometry. Now, in this example, you can see the parts a little bit more complicated than our last part, but again, the same process is going to take place here. What we'll do is we'll create the basic shape first, and then we'll create the fillets, and then we'll end the project by creating the holes. Now just like before I have a layer called print box, this is our blueprint layer. I'm going to use that just to make sure that we're on track when we're creating our geometry. Alright, so let's get started. Let's create this overall shape right here first. So I'm going to turn this layer off. We're going to head over to the main toolbar and select line. Now I want my line to start at X0, Y0, Z0. Now I can certainly type that in and click OK, but it's easy for me just to snap the datum. Now I want to use coordinate input and we're going to type in X of 175. That looks good, so I'll click OK. I should also point out too that you're not locked into using coordinate input. You can always switch between coordinate input, grid snapping, entity snapping. So for example, I could come down and just drag this down to, uh, we'll go down to Y minus 50 and left hand mouse click, and we're on track. Now I'm going to switch back to coordinate input, so I'll come back over here and I'll type in, uh, let's go with 75 for that. That looks good, so we'll click OK. Now we're going to come down to Y minus, I believe it's 115. That looks good, so we'll click OK. Now we want to go to X0. So I could snap, but instead I'm just going to come over and type in 0 and click OK. And now we're going to come back up. I'm just going to snap the datum, and then when we're finished, we'll right hand mouse click. Now let's see how we've done. Let's turn our print box layer back on. It looks like we're on track here. All right. Now let's create these fillets. It looks like these fillets have a radius of 12.5. All right, so let's put those in. We're going to turn our print layer off, come back over here to our circle command. We'll grab fillet. This is going to be 12.5. Also, I should take a moment here and point out that anytime you have numeric input, you can use formulas. Now, we don't have to use a formula for this, but if our blueprint would have given us a diameter, let's say 25, you could type in a formula. For example, we could say 25 divided by 2, and then if you hit the equal sign, it'll give you the result. And that works in all through 1C and C when there's a numeric field. Okay, so with our fillet value put in there, it's just up to us now to start digitizing lines using the left hand mouse button. It doesn't matter which line you digitize first. I'm going to left click, left click, and again, it doesn't matter which way you go. You get a nice preview in there as well. All this looks good. And then when we're finished, we just right hand mouse click. Let's see how we're doing. Let's turn our print box layer back on. So far, so good. That looks great. So now let's create these uh, 10 millimeter diameter holes here. It looks like these are five places and these are at arc center. All right. So let's turn our print layer off. We'll head back over to the main toolbar and select arc. We'll use the default command, which is just a simple arc, and we're going to put in a diameter here of 10.5. Whoops, 10, that looks better, 10.5. Now to grab an arc center, all you have to do is just wait till you get that little diamond symbol. Just take your cursor, come over. When you see the diamond symbol, you're at arc center. So we're going to left hand mouse click. We'll come down and left click, left click. I'm going to left click there and left click and when we're finished we right hand mouse click. I think this looks great. Let's check it out. We'll turn our blueprint layer back on and everything looks great. All right. Now the only thing that I did wrong, it looks like I put in a wrong diameter there. I put in 10.5 and we really want these to be 10. So why don't we demonstrate our alter command for this? All right, so I'm going to turn our blueprint layer off. Now the alter command is located in a couple of different places. You'll find it up here. It's called move in position, but it's also the alter command. And you'll also find it down here as well. If we come down to our right here within our move command, it's right here called alter. All right. So what I want to do is I want to alter those diameters. So here's how we can do that. We'll go into alter. I'm going to left click right on the circumference of the circle. Now I could dynamically drag that, but instead I'm going to come down here to where it says radius and I'm going to type in 5 for that. That looks good, so I'll click OK. So same thing, just click the radius we want 5. I'll click OK. 5, click OK. 5, click OK. 5, and we'll click OK. 
All right. So that's using the alter command to come back and change the value if you make a mistake. All right. You can also use your verify tools over here if you want to verify your geometry. If you pick that very first verification command, we can grab that and we can see that we have a diameter of 10 and a radius of 5. And it's easy to come through and verify all these. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.